The Coach Curl podcast is brought to you by Think and Grow Business, the home of the Think and Grow Business Mastermind. If you're serious about growing your business, get serious and join a mastermind group today. Find out more at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au. Hey there, it's Tony here and welcome to the Coach Curl podcast, episode 110 and our very first live podcast on a Friday. I have had an amazing week. I want to share it with you how I'm going to re-energize over the coming weekend. Make sure you hang around. Promises to be a good one. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Keep it going. Good job, guys. All right, Paul. I see you. And there we go. There we go. It's uh, episode 110 of the Coach Girl podcast. And, you know, Coach Girl, we love you. And I love doing this podcast. So thank you very much to all our listeners and to the feedback that we received. Thank you to those reviewing the podcast on whatever platform that you listen to it. We're available on most of the major platforms, you know, Spotify, iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Spreaker. So really excited for our growing base of subscribers. So thank you all very much. And if you and I'm always grateful, always grateful for those people that share our podcast with um, their friends and with the um, with others uh, around the world on uh, social media. So today I'm just sharing with you. I've had one hell of a week. Uh, I've been traveling. I've um, been talking with uh, a lot of businesses. I've been meeting some new clients and I'm just coming out and uh, I'm about uh, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning here in Brisbane in Queensland on a Friday. I've completed three coaching calls already. I've got another two and then I jump back in the car and I travel up the Sunshine Coast and then when I get back from the Sunshine Coast after seeing a client, I will be then heading to the football to go see the Brisbane Broncos play the North Queensland Cowboys here in Brisbane. So uh, once again, a full-on day to finish what's been a full-on week. And have you ever been in one of those positions where you are just so energized around what it is that you're doing, yet so overwhelmingly tired? You, You can actually feel the tired in your shoulders. Have you ever felt like that? And I guess... Part of what I'm feeling at the moment, because uh, because of the travel more so, and because of I, I guess the energy that you expand when when you're with a client, is that yes, I'm 100% energized, engaged. I love what I do, and always will. But I'm pretty tired, and I'm now facing a weekend, and I've got the opportunity to go through and maybe do a little bit of a recharge and uh, a bit of a reset and so how do you do that when you're feeling like that how do you go through a weekend and recharge or regenerate or recoup because I know what I used to do I know what I used to do and that may or may not be the healthiest thing for us to do because most people will grab will go out after work on a Friday catch up maybe with some work colleagues, maybe with some friends, and they'll go through and they'll partake in a couple of quiet drinks. For some people, maybe not so quiet, but for most people, we tend to sit back and chill and relax on a Friday with a with a glass of wine, with a, with a glass of nice craft pale ale. And, and you know... Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. It's certainly part, being part of what I'm, uh, I've done. I quite enjoy having a, a quiet beer with a, with a friend or two. And tonight, probably no doubt, I will probably have a quiet beer while cheering on whichever side I want to see win tonight. I'm still not quite sure who that's going to be. But I know that when it comes to confidence and, and when it comes to our own self-confidence and having the energy to do what we need to do, there is a need for us to, to sit back and relax in a way that maybe isn't based around how we cope with life. So some people cope with life by binge eating or 
or getting on the on the drink and you know that's the way that they cope with life but i do know that if i really want to recharge my batteries and really want to be fresh and energized for another week that looks a lot like this week i know that there are some things that i need to be doing because our actions and our routines affect confidence absolutely and they our actions and routines affect the energy that you exude and one of the things i've noticed this week is that my diet hasn't been as good as what it normally would be you know i'm i'm quite disciplined around what i eat and what's good for me and what's not good for me and this week because of the amount of time that i've spent traveling maybe not so good and and i know that when i'm putting not the right food into my body that that's going to have an impact on my energy levels so and when I've got an impact on my energy levels, it's got an impact on my confidence. So these are things that I'm certainly aware of, yet it's... Um, and, and people will tell you, you can plan out your meals and you can take them with you. And, you know, I, I know people that have their little Tupperware containers that they take everywhere and, and maybe some not-so-little t- Tupperware containers that they take everywhere. But sometimes that's not practical. So sometimes you are bound by the food that will be available to you. And, you know, it's about, you know, then that word of moderation really comes into play. But when you don't necessarily have the energy that you often have, it affects so many other things. It, it certainly affects our confidence. It affects our emotions. It can tend to sometimes make us feel a little bit more nervous than what we normally would be. Um, Maybe we're feeling a bit uncomfortable, um, you know, and maybe by doing that we're making others feel nervous and uncomfortable, you know, because ultimately people sense that, don't they? And, uh, And that's something that we probably don't want to be doing, making other people um, feel uncomfortable because of the way that we're feeling. It also enables people potentially to sense that we're either insecure or fearful. And sometimes that becomes part of what an unscrupulous person will prey on. And when when that happens, it drops our confidence even more. So there's some real um, opportunities here for us to be aware of some of this stuff so that we can really start to refresh, re-energize and get our energy levels back, which will then boost our self-confidence. So... Um, and that's really that's really important for us. We don't want to feel insignificant. We don't want to feel belittled. Um, and we just need to acknowledge that sometimes we need to do some things that are going to help us do. Now, interestingly, just one of the thoughts that entered my mind this week is that, you know, um, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on the on the Coach Curl podcast. I've certainly mentioned this on the Dumb Leaders podcast. But on the Coach Curl podcast, I, I, I'm pretty certain I haven't talked about flat Earth, right? And and I don't necessarily really want to get into a debate about flat Earth. I'm I'm just um, enjoying some of the entertainment that the debunkers bring to this, and um, and some of the belief structures around what the flat earth people think so it's a really good observation of human behavior at the moment and um, it's quite enlightening it's quite entertaining in some aspects but one of the things that struck me this week is that one of the reasons one of the conspiracy theories that they put forward around the the flat earth and the fact that people have created this globe model and one of the things that they say is that they it's because them whoever they are they they want us to feel insignificant and because we're just this little blue speck in in the in the wide infinity of space and as i say no one can make you feel insignificant except for you that's the only person that will actually make you feel insignificant but but interestingly, I heard one of the um, within the community start talking about this infinite flat plane that we sit on, the infinite flat plane of the earth. And I immediately sort of registered that, hang on, you can't have one argument saying that because space is infinite and we're just this little speck in space and they want us to feel insignificant because of that wouldn't we see the same level of insignificance being bred if we're standing on an infinite plane i don't know 
it just it's a little bit of a contradiction and uh, a little bit of heightened insecurity but but at the end of the day you don't want to feel superior to anyone but the only person that uh, can make you feel insignificant is you and sometimes when we're down on our energy and when we're down on that confidence that energy brings sometimes we can feel insignificant so so today I just want to share a couple of things that um, I'm probably I will be doing this weekend at some time shape or form and it's going to help me rejuvenate re-energize and get ready for another week of supporting people in business supporting people around their mindset choices and um, and another week of quite some extensive travel around the place so so the first thing is I will probably find some time for some quiet thoughts so some people would call this meditation you know, and this can be as simple as sometimes just sitting down by yourself and going through a breathing exercise. And there's enough apps out there now available. I know that my Apple Watch reminds me every couple of hours to to turn on the Breathe app and and um, have some time for for deep breathing. But some people are a bit more dedicated around their med- meditation. I tend to take some time by myself, whether it's out there for a walk. Um, where I just embrace silence and and um, my own thoughts and being able to channel my thoughts where I want them to go or just let them go. To me, that's that's really important. So I'll find some time over the weekend to definitely do that, not just once, but probably a couple of times. You know, maybe not full-length lotus-sitting meditation, standing there in the corner chanting, but I will certainly find some time to sit quietly, slow my breathing, and just clear my mind because I think that's always important. Secondly, I'm I'm, I'm a positive thinking person um, generally and um, even though, like others, I can be cynical and I can be critical but ultimately I always try and channel and change my thoughts to be one of positivity and the way that you think will affect how much how you act and how you feel. We know that and when we think positively or with optimism that builds our confidence. So when you catch, when I catch myself being negative, of course, I'm going to change that. I'm going to look for the positive in the situation. Um, sometimes it's a little challenging to do that, but um, I like to challenge myself as well. So I always like to look at something calmly, objectively, and try and find what what is the positive thing here, because our brain is a very defensive organ. And we'll always look to how it can defend us from those negative emotions. So hence the reason why that first aspect is normally a negative one because that's what we're, what it's pinpointing to us. Affirmations are, are something else that um, most a lot of people will do on a day-to-day basis. I know that I certainly spend some time thinking about the positive reinforcements that I have in my life. So even when I'm driving back late at night from a a late night workshop um, I, I know that I'm thinking about how grateful I am to be involved with that group and how much they're learning and how much they're taking away and I'm certainly not allowing myself to think about you know the negativity of driving while tired for example you know that's um, that's probably not going to do me too much good but it's also about affirming to ourselves those positive behaviours that we see. You know, I'm confident in who I am, my self-belief, I can do anything. You know, I choose happiness no matter what my circumstances are. So I, I know other people will, will talk about their inner beauty, their, their how they radiate energy to others and how their positive energy is responded with more positive energy. So... Whatever those affirmations are for you, whatever they are, find some time this weekend to do them. You know, we all need to affirm ourselves and we all need to be confident, self-confident enough to affirm ourselves and not just think it's a bit of a waste of time. Uh, Number four, I'll certainly be expressing gratitude for who I am and who's around me in my life and um, in my community, I'm very grateful for my community. I always have been and always will be. Very grateful for my family and the people that I love. So, I'll be expressing that gratitude. And you know, life's not about things; it's about experiences and it's about people. And 
that will always be part of my psyche. It wasn't always part of my psyche. You know, you know as I was working through the corporate world, especially, I, I found myself very focused on things. You know, a new car every X amount of years, and you know, doing things at home, a new barbecue to make sure I kept up with the Joneses, and you know, all of those things. And now I'm more focused on the experience and, and I'll make do with my old Weber Q, you know. <laughs> so so that's what we do, you know, as we... And I suppose that's a trait of getting older with more experience and understanding what truly makes you happy. You know, at the end of the day, I, I'm pretty certain when my time is done, I'm going to treasure the memories. I won't be sitting there treasuring the the six burner barbecue with the stainless steel hood. So, and finally, and this is one that I I just love doing. It one of the benefits at the moment. I'm doing a fair bit of work up the Sunshine Coast. Is the ability for me to put my feet on the sand, and you know, just that um, getting back to nature is always uh, magnificent. And to be able to walk barefooted, barefooted on a sandy beach is just one of my simple joys in life and and hopefully it's one of yours so and we can and it helps me raise my energy and it helps me just connect back with with the the spirit of the earth i guess is is what i'm i'm doing there so um i also enjoy standing on some nice grass in bare feet take a taking a walk breathing in the sunshine last week sharon and i walked almost 20 kilometers along the beach at on the gold coast you can't you you just cannot express how wonderful things like that are so take some time this weekend to enjoy nature and reconnect with nature and i'm sure that you'll see the corresponding impact not just in the energy that you feel but in the energy that you that you vibrate out to others. Because let's face it, we like people with energy, don't we? Um, and sometimes we beg, borrow and steal some of their energy to give ourselves some, so a little bit more. And most people who have high levels of energy are quite happy to give. So be one of those people that uh, are quite happy to give their energy. And um, yeah, have yourselves a really good weekend. So those five things, again, meditation or taking some quiet time to clear your mind. Um, positive thinking is always a fantastic place to go. Make sure you spend some time to affirm who you are and create some am- affirmations to help you create some energy and confidence around yourself. Express gratitude for what it is that you have. And finally, enjoy some nature because nature is simply awesome. Hey, as always, a big shout out to Think and Grow Business. The, my team are, are amazing at um, at keeping me busy for one thing, but also in helping people improve the performance of, of people, not just in business, but in everyday life. We really are focused on personal, professional and business growth. So check it out at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au. Uh, Check out my book, Seriously Simple Stuff to Get You Unstuck. It's available on all major online platforms. It's a simple, nice read. Uh, I share some stories about how you can make your life simple because every time you simplify your life, you also purify your life, which I think is just an amazing positive to be thinking about. And don't forget, 20% of every book sold goes to support the wonderful people at Carter's Cause. So Carter's Cause raised funds and awareness for Heart Kids Australia, who in turn are helping the parents and families of kids born with congenital heart disease. Um, as for always, this um, thanks for tuning in on our very first Friday review podcast. I hope that you've taken some some really key aspects away. I hope you have a wonderful weekend or whatever day you end up listening to this particular podcast. Take some of those tips to re-energize, recharge. There's nothing stopping you from using any of those on any day of the week. It recharges your energy, it gives you greater confidence and you're ready to face the world. As for always, standing today, braver, stronger, and wiser and don't ever forget don't ever forget that golden rule just don't be an arsehole I'll see you next time